and i feel like that's like the worst advice you can give someone oh, was it a group of girls not not the people i went with like the oh. the indigents the what they the <laughs> <laughs> but i don't know why you should say be strong why should i be strong thank you for clicking this video welcome to my space on today's episode guys i have a guest my name is Cynthia Obiuchendu. Yeah, and on today's video, we're going to be doing the best and worst tags. I'm going to ask her questions on her best and worst of something, mm. and she'll be answering. If this is something you think you would enjoy, grab your drink. Here's your drink. I don't have a drink, but it's okay. fine. Yeah, let's have a good time <laughs> watching this video. My name is Stephanie, guys, and you're welcome to the Metro Gypsy platform. <laughs> Yay, Cynthia. So, first question, let's get right into this. So, the people, don't keep the people waiting. What's the best and worst travel you've ever done? Travel. Maybe destination wise, or maybe what happened there. So, let's start with worst. Oh my God. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I should say this, but Morocco, I, I didn't quite enjoy it. Serious? I didn't quite enjoy myself in how Morocco. How long did you go? I, I went last year. I mean, I like, went how with long a, did you stay? I, I stayed with, um, I stayed for, I think, a week. I'm not sure. I mean, mm. I, went, I went with amazing people, but I just, felt like they didn't give what we were supposed to give they didn't or... give me the, the people did not give me what they were supposed oh, to give me was it a group of girls not not the people i went with like the oh. the indigents the they, they, <laughs> <laughs> they did not yeah i found it oh, really? like I, literally at the immigration they were already asking for money oh my God, yeah my immigration experience at america was horrible but america was what i was saying my mm. best because of, i mean i liked yeah. where we stayed i liked the people i went with but i was just like I don't know if it's one of those places. I don't think I will go back again. Okay. I don't know. It will be. I don't know. Oh, Let me bless you. So your best. My best trip. I feel like Singapore for I my honeymoon. Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> my honeymoon. Uh, we went to Singapore and that was like beautiful, the most beautiful country. Yeah. And it was just am all around amazing. The food was good. The people were good. The place was clean. We stayed at Marina Bay. It was beautiful. Awesome. I loved it. Would you yeah. want to go back? Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Okay, yeah. cool. So, um, yeah, I'll try to answer if I was answer. So, Morocco is actually my favorite destination. I was because we went, like, it, it was my husband, I think it was a honeymoon. Maybe we didn't really call it honeymoon, Shabo. It was a trip we went. And it was yeah. really organized. We had, like, pick up everywhere. We did, did, like, six, five different cities. Yeah. Pick up every day, different hotels. You know, it was just well planned. And mm. on the road, when we're driving to the next place, I'm editing my content, posting. Yeah. So, it was just calm, no looking at map and stuff. Yeah. And then, worst, um, hmm, I can't really remember the worst. But this video is not about me, so let's leave it. <laughs> Um, so, what's your favorite designer handbag that you have right now? I still my Birkin. I have just one Birkin. Her. Let's pause, guys. Continue. Ibuka got that for me like four years ago, I think, and I was shocked. And that's like your that's, favorite. That's oh my that's my favorite. I love I love it. Okay, and I mean, you? we're hoping to add more to the collection. But yes, so <laughs> if money plug, <laughs> Abby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was your worst designer handbag you own now. My worst. I probably wouldn't have bought again, or if you had a chance, or just which one you don't get wear from. There's this big boat Celine I I had for a while. Okay. I ha like I've ha I don't even remember where it is in my house, but yeah, like I think it was unnecessary because, I mean, I, I feel like that's a reminder not to buy things for Eventually. trends as opposed to buy classics so i'm sticking with classics from now what's the worst advice you've ever been given and the best advice you've ever been given um i don't know how this is going to sound but like when my mom passed oh. everybody kept on saying be strong oh. and i feel like that's like the worst advice you can give someone yeah. or the worst thing you can say to i know most people don't have anything to say when in that a situation like that because it's like an awkward and difficult situation you don't know what to say to i mean there's nothing you can say that will that make will the situation them, you better know. or bring back yeah. person from the dead but i don't know why you should say be strong why should i be strong yeah. like i literally just lost my mom why are you telling me be str like be strong like, please let's let's dead that please that's not the best advice when people tell you time heals mm -hmm. i feel like that's like at the moment you'll be like ah how will i heal not that it heals it gets better to yeah, deal nothing. with time so yeah sit down yeah okay uh, excuse for so commercial time. break over <laughs> yeah bless the soul of your mom what's the worst thing about being a public figure 
Am I a public figure? Will you, yeah. Will you, uh, I would define I you as a public figure. I don't identify as a public <laughs> figure. <laughs> well, you're not a celebrity, but you're a public figure, definitely. So what's the worst thing about being Cynthia Obi Chendu? There's no worst thing Based about me. Based on Obi Chendu. Um, there's no worst thing about me. I'm having. A... What's the best thing then? About being an Obi Chendu. Well, know. just being a public figure. That's what I didn't want to. Like being a public figure, being known now. Like two of us go out now. You don't really know, know you. Me. Yeah. Yes, no. I don't. I don't. I don't see it. So I don't. I can't. I can't give context. Okay, to something I don't it's true. See. Yeah. I don't see it. Because it's true. Because you were never known. I was never. Okay, let's just say. Between being before being single and married, let's just put it like that. You get how you were, like when you go somewhere before you were single, it's not kind of different now. There's no difference. There's no in difference. Anything. My friends are still my friends. My people are still my people. And like the kind of circles I like, I hang around with is the same. I don't know. If, I, I can't see any change. I don't know if there's change around me, but I can't. But you like the attention? Like okay, the attention. What's the best and what's about the attention? Because you can't say there's the only, no attention. I would like the only thing is just like sometimes I just want to tweet about certain things and oh, I'm just like, bruh, I don't want to end up exactly. on exactly. That's it. That's a good So I have thing. to like say zilch, yeah. you know. But like on a good day, I would want to say many. Like I have opinion on. <laughs> Almost so not almost everything, but like certain things, but and I, the, that I can't speak on, you know. So that, I, guess that's I just the don't want to end up on the blog. On, on, on yeah. The blog. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'll say. Maybe that's the worst thing. Yeah, that's any. the worst thing. Mm. Okay, and the best thing. There's no best thing. Yeah. Mm, I guess people are watching my YouTube now. Like, okay, because see, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. If I want to that, exactly, actually, exactly. actually, okay, let me know. Like, okay. You guys are watching my YouTube without. I mean, if I wasn't married to Ibuka, I don't think I would even do YouTube to start with. <laughs> Secondly, I have like brand deals. Ah, let me. Ah, I think just, so. just see you. Just see. I have brand deals that I probably, I definitely won't get if I wasn't married to Ibuka. Hmm, that's how I was lying before. Sorry. <laughs> okay, talking about um, Ibuka, what's your favorite or your best Bibi Naja season that Lock, you watch? Because obviously, I know you watch the Bibi Naja like me. <laughs> So what's your favorite season? Lockdown. Lockdown. And what's your worst season? I can't say. It will. Ah no, but it's not. It's not. No. You're not the owner of the season. I don't care. I'm just going to be the box. Oh my god. Okay. This one you never answer. What's your favorite? Who's your favorite baby Niger housemate? I mean, from from I've, any I, season. I've, just anybody. All time. Yes, all time. Ah, it's a big bunch. Oh, I I really liked. Like I liked Messi. I liked um Cross. I like um. Nengi, I've liked V, I've liked like um Did I cross the best? Maybe cross is my favorite has been my favorite. Okay. Yeah. You who's your worst baby Niger house name? What kind of question is that? <laughs> best and worst tag. No, please. I'm not saying that. But you said you didn't like it because when it was in the from your former Okay, sure. Yeah, but okay. like I wasn't a big fan of his when he was on the show. So she said worst. Yeah. Um what's your favorite social media app? Um, I like Instagram. It's Instagram. easy to use. I understand it. Unlike um, I don't understand Facebook. <laughs> and Facebook. All this, or Snapchat and yeah, TikTok. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't. What's your worst it. social media app? Between Facebook, TikTok, all of them. I don't know how to use it. Okay. Why you at school? What's your favorite subject or your best subject? High school. High school. I like. I I don't think I had but a what favorite. Math? Which math? Who <laughs> dash me? <laughs> I don't think I had a favorite subject maybe maybe ah, what are the subjects they do geography history literature it, was there anything like commerce yes that's yeah, commerce. Probably commerce. commerce what's yeah. your worst probably math ma oh. <laughs> okay what's your um favorite pe um trait in somebody i like i like human being? i don't like shifty people okay i like a straightforward person i like a person that says what they stand, say what they stand for, and yeah. stand for what they say. Yeah. Like you are not one way with me, and a different, different way other people. with other people. And you know, there are some people that are just so funny. Like when you are with them, they are like nice and and kind and expressive and sweet. Then a different group when they are with you with a different group of people. Yeah, automatically yeah, it's okay, just based on chameleon based, just blending to wherever I'm just they like, are no, or, be yourself okay. regardless of your circle where you find yourself yeah. i'm not saying that you shouldn't like i'm not saying shifts your person i'm not with this just be who you be are, who you are own it. Yeah. and own yourself and if you're a bad person try and be better okay. you know yeah that, that's just it yeah in that kind of aspect i kind of like people who are 
even if they are controversial, but they just stand for something and they say it way. It's something like Donald Trump now. You hate him for so many things, but he's just who he is and you hold on to who and he is. One thing with me, and I feel like he's one of my best and worst traits. Yeah. You always know where I stand. Yeah. I'm not the kind of person that is like, ah, no, no, no. no. Yeah. You will know where I stand and yeah. I will let you know where I stand. And they can ask me, you guys, Cynthia once asked me a question. That's how you came for your brother. I told you, you couldn't remember. <laughs> He asked me because I was single then and I don't know. Oh my god, don't say <laughs> don't say funny will drive me away. I mean, I you know, just had a family. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't like a bad question. To be honest, I never took it bad though. I took it as okay. Oh, like and my I mom believe you know, I asked that asking me you know, how far, how far. That's how I just wasn't. so you're a John here, yeah, like are you, you know, know the things that I used to be more like direct, my, more direct. But I've I learned that, like you didn't say, like I've learned that it's actually not a good thing. Yeah. So I'm not saying I'm still up. But I think but, I knew it, was, it wasn't coming from a bad but place. I am more like. What should I, I see you doing in on, this country? On, something like that. On, like, currently, I will never ask you that question. That question, yeah. Yeah, because I'm just like, hey, God. I can't believe I I'm you. like, yeah, I am over, but it's not still anything is happening in Nigeria now. Yeah. Like, my friends are still single there. So I think you're asking me based because on Because there are certain things you don't ask yeah. you, like, baby, have, when are you having a baby? Yeah, when are you getting married? Yeah. I can't believe I opened my dirty mouth and asked I know she said in family. Hey, God. I guess it was just a, no, no, no. I, I know better now, she <laughs> To be honest, I didn't take it back. I didn't take it back. I didn't take it back. Okay, so I think we'll come to the end of this video. Don't forget to go to Cynthia's channel. As she said, she has a YouTube channel, which you guys must be subscribed to already. Go there, watch her videos, and then like, subscribe to this one if you haven't. Click the thumb up button. Drop a comment because I love to read from you. Follow me on Instagram at Metro Gypsy. Follow her, just Cynthia, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Mwah. Mwah. Okay, can you go and stop it, baby? Please go and press that same button. Oh, just quick and short. That's how you like it, Abby. So. I, well, I, I didn't have any other question. That's even the bad part. I wish I had. I did, but see. Press the same I thing. I wrote subjects. Okay, that's, I asked you that one now. Was there any other question? Best and worst. Is there any other question you have to ask? Mm. Okay, no, let, just leave it. Let's just do one. Okay, so on Cynthia's channel, we're going to be using this um, conversation cards. This is from Diary of the CEO. I don't know if you guys watch the podcast. So before we have never opened it. <laughs> before we go to her channel, let's just ask one or two questions. Since I've run out of best, you don't ask for anything now. So I won't ask you what's your best set. Have you yeah. ever been on a set, on a movie set? On a movie set? No, oh, but I've been yeah. on a shoot. Like Okay, and it's not like plenty of other No, it's the just same like, yeah. Oh. Okay. How do you get your collaborations for your channel? Do you reach out to brands? No, I've actually come never to reached out to a brand. Okay. Like I'm too shy for that. It's like, too shy for that, right? I'm, and I'm sure there are people that do that. And that's what you're supposed to do, apparently. Yeah. But I, I've never been one to. Do you have management? Or I don't have considered? management though. That's. I feel like if I had management. Are you considered? Do you think? Because I've, 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 my I've thought too. about this, mm. but I don't know who or where or who be the right fit. I mean, I feel like that would be a good thing to have because yeah, to managers tend to help you um align with the brands and get the good jobs the really big jobs. get the big jobs and conversations you don't want to be doing going back and forth with they will they do it for you because i remember this certain brand that pissed me off <laughs> they used my image longer than uh you agreement. guys had agreed and because i did not have management like i just said you know it's fine just take it down they are just them take it down but like if i had management i'm sure they would have pursued Obviously. for me to get yeah in fact they would have done what they did to be honest my pay for okay the but the extra time they had yeah kept it on for. they had kept it on for which, okay yeah all right so let's just you know take one of these cards and ask a question what is the most frequent piece of advice that people ask you for so people that you know are you like yeah jerry people talk to you are you a good listener people talk to you much i don't think i give up that vibe Except my friends, okay. my inner friend. I don't think I give up the, the vibe where people just randomly buzz me ask you about for advice. Like my husband is the one that gets has that okay access. Yeah, vibe. Yeah. Okay. Me, I think I'll take care. But I mean, I mean, I'm not a bad person. I mean, I like to think I'm an, a sweet person. What are some words you've never said to anybody, and why haven't you ever said it, and who should you have said them to? I mean, I don't, I've never told anybody I hate them. Okay. And why? Because I, I don't have the capacity to hate. Yeah. Do you remember a moment you realized you love your current job or what you do? No. <laughs> One moment where you said, come, I, I love, actually love what I'm doing. No, I've never had that in my life. I mean, I'm enjoying it, but I don't know if I, I'll define it as I love. Love. Like, I can't, oh, look, no, 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 no. I've always said money is a motivator for me. Okay, I love, so was there any time where one big money came, you just like, oh my god, this is just what I want to do as against doing maybe like a 9 said, to 5? I, I, I've never done a 9 to 5, I've always done contracts. Okay. And I guess I love contracts because it gives me flexibility, it gives me time. 
um um with my family it gives me money and that's that i don't this sounds funny but i'm just motivated by money, if by it, money. something <laughs> gives me funny. something legal gives me money that's mm. what i like at the moment what's if your I, love language Random. um words of affirmation okay that's my number one but everything is my love language yeah yeah but do you give that as well do you like to give that as well to friends or partners yeah, you get friends. Yeah. yeah, I think I affirm my friends. You affirm your friends. What? Okay. Yeah. So last question: When it all gets too dark, what helps you find the light? My family. Okay. Yeah. Your nuclear extended or nuclear family. Your nuclear family helps you find the light. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys. On that note, um, we hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a comment, and click the like button. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Okay. Okay, so let's discuss that. Let's use that one. 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 Let